Hello everybody and welcome back to our Wake Forest Demon Deacon Dynasty here in NCAA Football 14. My name is JT Plays and today a scouting update for the Demon Deacons. Haven't done one of these in what feels like forever. 2019 Week 13 before we play the Cavaliers of Virginia at BB&T Field. Winston-Salem, the 6-4 and four Deacons have some recruiting to do. Now they have some guys already lined up and some guys already locked and all that good stuff. Well, today's basically finish up. You see we have some prospects visiting the campus. Robert Ferwerda, Andrew Evans, and Nick Turner. Now, ready for visit, Champ Haas and Oscar Barnett. We can offer these guys scholarships, we can have them come out, but they're not gonna make the team. They're not gonna make the team. That's as simple as that, not with everybody else. Well, we can always throw points their way. In battle is where it gets fun. Greg Utley, Chris McGrew, Terrell Harris, all these guys, we need them to come to Wake. And right now, four-star halfback, four-star halfback, and a four-star wide receiver, that looks really good on our resume. But uh, scholarship-wise, and all these guys right here, we just got to... We gotta just offer them and hope they come. Most of these guys are one and two stars. Some are just not great at all. But today we're going to go over some guys that we need and uh, would like to have. Let's start with Greg Dudley. Oak Grove, South Carolina, Pipeline State, 5'11", 182. He's a speed wide receiver, four-star prospect coming in. Currently, we lead over NC State and Vanderbilt. It looks like we have this guy pretty locked up. 90 speed, 89 acceleration, he has 71 catching, 70 spec catch, 78 route running, 76 return, that's not going to be our biggest worry. 60 release, 68 catching traffic, that is a little worrisome. For Chris McGrew, the halfback, 92 speed, 81 excel. I don't think anyone's going to take over Wayne Haynes uh, and Desmond Wortham. Those two guys were pretty much an unbeatable combo when they did play together. But um, Chris McGrew, he's okay looking. 82 stiff, 82 span, 82 juke. Uh, 74 break tackle, 64 carrying is a little worrisome. 72 ball carry revision, 75 injury. Terrell Harris on the other side, 89 speed, 78 acceleration. Uh, he is considerably worse than Chris McGrew. 81 jumping, 82 stamina. Uh, 78 ball carry vision, 84 injury, 81 juke, 66 carrying. There's EJ Dodd, another halfback. But um, we're going to sort this by overall because it's just easier that way. Some guys we already have locked up. Joe Carr, a kicker, 77 overall. Signal Mountain, Tennessee. Gary Rogers from Dunning, South Carolina, 70 overall wide receiver. Brian Mitchell, middle linebacker from Duluth, Georgia. Danny Robertson, 69 overall cornerback from Milton, Delaware. Connor McBride from Cherryville. Uh, Andrew Evans, he was one. He's from Salem, West Virginia. Some guy that committed to Virginia. Uh, Newport News, Virginia. That's It might be the greatest name ever for a town. Uh, we're going to remove him just because, A, he committed to a team we're playing next week and also an ACC rival but that's to be expected some guys we really uh, probably aren't we're gonna get but we're not gonna make the team John Wright at safety um, Robert Ferruda at wide receiver and most of these guys anyway Josh Daniel quarterback uh, Corey Powers Marcus Tucker we've locked up Ron Stopper just some really, 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 really deep depth in the team. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at top classes, the Demon Deacons sit 75th in the country this year. We have 11 total guys committed already, six threes, four twos, and one one. Um, now, obviously, the prestige for Wake Forest, it stayed about the same. We're a uh, three, four star team. But you take a look inside the top 25, this is minimum requirements to get inside the top 25. And even then some. Uh, BYU, one four-star, nine three-stars, six two-stars, two two-stars. You look at other classes, Pittsburgh, four four-stars, six three-stars, 
but they're so well into their guys, they don't need anyone else. Michigan, uh, one five star, four fours, three four, or four three, sorry. How about the number one class in the nation, Notre Dame? Seven threes, seven fours, and four fives. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Syracuse, a two star. Watch them next coming years. Eight four stars, seven three stars. Um, anyone else in here? Alabama, not having the greatest. They only have eight prospects. TCU, Mississippi State. Uh, again, Penn State, a three-star school. There are teams here that should not be there, but they're doing such a good job recruiting, they are getting nationally recognized. In the Spark 100, we never take a look at this. We never take a look at this. Uh, some guys that we were prospecting and targeting in the beginning of the year, obviously, five-star prospects. Five star calibers. No one is looking at us. And um, really, that's okay. But look at this guy. Five star. He was looking at Old Dominion. Old Dominion has shots in here. Um, it's just insane. This school, Syracuse, right here for a four star. They lost to Louisville. Probably deservedly so. Uh, Marshall, right here. Four star. Lost to Texas but beat out Florida for their final three. It's just interesting to see these guys and where they're from and ultimately what, you know, you, like convinces them or persuades them. Right here, four star. Adam Smith halfback from Stewart, Florida. Went to Mississippi State and we were his second overall team. He had us, Mississippi State, and Georgia Tech. We're honored that these guys choose us. Um, a couple bad losses will obviously affect that, but a couple really good wins will also affect that the other way. So, you know, it's just each year in and out, it's just different. We have all our draft team needs to medium. Uh, any tendency speed, pocket passer, we really don't care. We run a 3-4 defense here, and we have a little assistance to go along with us. Because without the assistance in the front office, this would not be possible. So, it's just very interesting. Uh, we would not like to purchase that, never mind reports. But uh, the school, Wake Forest, A-plus academic prestige, A-coach stability, A-minus coach prestige, A-minus conference prestige, Yes, the SEC should or could be lower than the ACC. I think those are the only two conferences. I don't think the Big Ten has teams that can compete like ACC and SEC do, especially this year. Uh, stadium atmosphere. Uh, you know, our average con uh, attendance, 31.5 thousand people. That's a lot of people. Pro potential. Some guys that come out awake. They go to the pros. Not a lot, but here's our draft history. We've had one first rounder, one third rounder, and one fourth to seventh rounders. That's a B. Obviously Alabama. Obviously Florida. Obviously Ohio State. Obviously Oklahoma. LSU. Those guys are going to have more pro potential than us. That's fine. Television exposure. Two national TV games played since Coach Mathis has been here. One national TV win. Eight regional TV games. Five for eight, and then one for two on TV. That's pretty good for weight. Top schools and athletic facilities, or C plus. Of course, we don't have the athletic facilities like other teams, but people still come here, and we show them why. Our bowl record in team history: seven and seven. Two conference championships once. Last one in 2006, and uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's probably still going to be a while. Campus lifestyle, D+. Plus. A lot of these guys in Wake, it's private school. It's the top private school in North America, if not the top three. You're focused on athletics. You're focused on what you do. Yes, there's a lifestyle to every school, but you're focused more on athletics and academic here. That's what makes Wake Forest so um, just crazy and good about it. Alabama... There, yeah, there's other stuff to do. 
yeah, you can have all this stuff, but in the end, it's really by design and by option who you want to go and why. You can go for academics, you can go for parties, you can go for trips, you can go for anything, but in the end, it's your decision, and uh, that's what the prospects are dealing with. So, close to home, academic, uh, athletics, all that good stuff. That's the recruiting update, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Next time out, we take on the Cavaliers of Virginia.